Hi, I am working with a product called Boom Cards. And in this platform, it allows you to create manipulative exercises that are interactive. And so I'm having the students to build words using prefixes, roots, and suffixes. As of now, I only have the prefix com, m, pro, and re. I need to now add roots. So in order to do that, they have been saved as images. So the images will pop up and I need the root mob and moat. So this one right here. Once it's in, you just resize it to the size that you need it. I have been putting them kind of like a medium size so that the students can read them. So we have prefix, root, and over here will be the suffix. So the prefix is pink, prefix pink, P, Latin root, lilac, so this is lilac purple, and then sapphire blue for suffix. So we need the suffix able. So I come here and there's the suffix able. I will resize it. Okay. I need the suffix aisle. So I come over here, pick my image, and get the suffix aisle. So let's see if I have aisle here. And it's I L E, so this one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I also need the suffix un. Okay, so I'll drag another image over here. And there it is right there. It's not ion, it's actually un. Okay. And I need the suffix illity as in mobility, illity. So put that there and here we go, illity. So and I'll place that here and of course you can size it. Now the thing that's interesting is we're working in the template. So whatever is happening in the template will be in the cards. So whatever you put on the template will also be down here. So on the template, we now need to add the empty spaces. So I'll bring an image. And I need an empty prefix box. Okay, so that goes here. Okay. I need an empty root box. And be careful that it doesn't go off the screen because you won't be able to manipulate the sizes at that point. So let's bring that here. Okay, I try to make them about the same size. And now I need an empty suffix. Okay, and here's my suffix. I'm gonna bring it up here so that I can manipulate the size a little better. Here, try to bring it next to it so that we can resize it. Okay, so that's how you bring in the images. Now I also need text. The text will go in the middle. So I'm gonna put the text here and click to edit the text. So I want the text to say, drag the correct prefix, root, and or suffix. So I copy that. I come here, select the text, and I manipulate it. So that way I can have that there. Okay. Now I put that in the template. I should not have put that in the template. So let's delete that. 
that should go in the first card because remember whatever you put in the template is what's going to go in the actual card deck so we don't want that text on every single card deck we want that text to be unique to the actual slide itself okay so that is the directions that is the first slide if I go back to the template I need each of these to be draggable so I'm gonna click that and make that draggable click that make that draggable 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 now I'm not sure if we can do multiple selections so let's try and we can and I'm going to make them all draggable. Down here, if I want to do multiple selections, I'm going to click my first picture or image, hold down the shift key, click the second one, click the third. These down here are the drop zones. So whatever is draggable will come down to the drop zone. So <clears throat> because I'm in the template, every card now will have that. So if I want to add a card, I just clone that card so I don't have to retype everything. So now I'm in problem number one. Even though it says card number two, card number one is our actual directions. And so now I'm in card number one, which is actually card number two. All right, so what I want to do is type out all of the questions. <clears throat> all right, so for the first one, able to be taken or carried away so i'm going to erase this and i'm going to type able to be taken or carried away to be taken or carried away all right and i'll try to center that so that way it's not too big and i'll put it here and what i'll do is go ahead and clone the next one so I need a total of 11 cards. So it'll automatically ask if it notices that you're doing a lot of cloning, it'll say, how many additional do you need? Right now it's not asking that, but I need a total of 11 because there are a total of 10 problems. Remember card number one is our direction card. Card number two is question number one. Card number three is question number two. So question number two says, the scene of noisy confusion or activity. The scene of noisy confusion or activity. Now I'm not putting any punctuation in here because there's short definitions. And so I can just leave it at that. Let's do question three, even though I'm on card number four. Sometimes your mouse will try to pick it up. Okay, question three. Motionless. Motionless. Unable to move. Unable to move. And then we go to the next one, number five. Oops, sorry, number Wait, why is that all the way there? Let's see. Able to be taken away. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. Oh, because I cloned them all, that's why. So it has the sentence from this one, I cloned it, so now it's going to pop up. So this is two. Question one, question two, question three. We are now on question four. Okay, question four. In advancement in rank, right? Make sure I spell that right. In rank or position. Okay. All right, now we're on question five. Okay, question five. Relating to the quality 
of being able to move, okay? All right, then question six. Unable to move for being moved. Fixed, immobile. Okay. Question seven. Got to be careful. The mouse will want to change and pick that up. Able to be moved from one place to another. Okay, question eight. See how the mouse just wants to pick it up? It's like, ah. Relating to the quality, to the quality of not being able to move. Relating to the quality of not being able to move, okay? Question nine. Okay, we'll come in here, see how it's changing my mouse here. Question nine. To move forward, to move forward or raise to a higher rank class status, etc. And I put the wrong punctuation mark. All right, and we can extend it if you want the sentence to go across however you think is visually appealing. And last but not least, question 10. Question 10, relating to being able to move, movable, okay. So those are our questions. Now, notice that we don't necessarily have to save anything. <coughs> Excuse me. The Boom platform pretty much preserves everything the way you have it. So now we are ready to put in our answers. So I'm just going to quickly pull up my answer key so that way I don't have to figure it out. I can just move it. So the answer to number one is removable. So I need re, so I need to pull this down. So keep in mind, the draggable needs to be placed in the drop zone. I need move, and remember it's only one, so there's not any to choose from. And then I need able. So the answer to the first one is given. Okay, so that is our first question, but I accidentally did it on the direction cards. So I need to clear everything. So let's clear, oops, ah, I'm due, okay. I need to clear everything. So if I come here, let's see, I think it's here, I can say clear. Wait, I'm due, <laughs> how did I do that? Okay, um, let's see, how did I do that? I, I, want, I want to clear it, so. Uh, why is it clearing that? I don't want it to clear that one. I want it to clear this one. So can I clear that? Ah, okay, so you have to select it and then hit the clear. Select it and then hit the clear. Okay, so keep in mind, we're gonna do the answers starting with card number two. So see, even I forgot it myself. So we need re, move, above. So able to be taken or carried away. Able to be taken or carried away. All right, number three, the answer is commotion. So we need calm, mo, shun. Okay, that's that one. Okay, third answer, immobile. So 
So M and then mobile. Notice we don't have a suffix, so we don't have to drag anything there. Okay, number four, pro motion. So we need pro mo shun. Promotion. Okay. Number five is mobility. So we need mo and look, not in the prefix that goes right here. So purple to purple. Ability. Blue to blue. So there's no prefix. Okay, number six, immovable. So we need M, pink to pink, move, lilac to lilac, able, blue to blue. Okay, number seven. I'll move these up so we can see. Number seven, movable. So we just need lilac to lilac and bubble, okay? And then eight, immobility. So we need M, mobility, okay? Number nine is promote. So we need pro. And then moat, there is no suffix. And then number 10 is mobile. So we need mo and then bull. So that will be this, mobile, mobile. And we are now done. So once we are finished, we can preview the exercise. So I'll go to preview. Okay, and it gives me this card relating to being able to move, movable. So being able to move, movable, we have movable, and then I can submit. Whoops. And it's saying, oh, I got something wrong. Okay, so we're gonna quit that. <clears throat> the exercise is now ready. And so what we can do now is exit. And that was exercise number three. So here we go right here. I made it private. Now we can make it unprivate. So we have number three here. Level one, lesson three is now ready. So if we're ready to make lesson four, I will clone lesson three. So I will clone lesson three. If you wanna clone the template card, well, the whole deck, and I'll say the whole deck. And so here's lesson three. This is now a copy. So as you can see down here, it says lesson three copy. But I actually want this, ah, come on, to be lesson four. So I just go in here and manipulate it. I'm gonna change it to lesson four. I'm gonna remove copy, because now it is actually a lesson. And I'm gonna say private publish because it's not ready yet okay so for lesson four I don't necessarily need these cards I'm going to come up here to my template and I'm going to delete these cards because I now need new cards for lesson four so if you recall the way that we put the images on okay and also for lesson four, I'm gonna like keep this because I need that for my first card, but these will change. But for lesson four, we need new words now. So let's come over to lesson four and let's see which prefixes we need now. We need ab. So I'll come over here to my image, bring my image over. And it says, you don't have images here. Oh, there they are. It just took a minute to load. I was like, I should have images there because I loaded them. And so we need ab. So let's come and see if ab is there. And there is ab. Okay, and I'm gonna resize ab to a nice size. I like that size. And let's put ab there. We need ac. So let's bring over another image. 
there's app. Okay. There's app. And I have ab, ack, and I try to make them as close as possible. Okay, and then eat pro. So let's bring over our image for pro. Pro. There is Pro. Want to insert the Pro and try to size it at a good size. And finally, we need se, as in se section or secede. So it's pronounced. Seh, although it's an open syllable, you would think it's C, but it's pronounced Seh because it's a word part. So it's not really following the rules, or it is, but it, it's following the rules of the French layer of our language because it's coming out as Seh. So it is following the rules. Now we need our roots. First root we need is breathe. Okay, so let's come over here and get breathe. There's breathe. Okay. Come over here, put that there. Breathe. And put that here. And then we need seed. And this seed is with a C. Not the word seed, but the word part seed. In this case, it's a Latin root. Latin is the color lilac. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna try to make these boxes as close as possible for aesthetics purposes when we have the students to actually build words. All right, now we need our suffix root. We need able. Over here, look for able. There's able. Okay, put that there. We need I <coughs> or E8, as in a breathe E8. So it looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here, but I made it kind of small there, so let's enhance the size a little bit. Okay. All right, let's come over here. We need ibble. There's ibble. Okay, and we need Un. It looks like ion, but it's really un. This one right here. We don't pronounce it ion, we pronounce it un. Okay. We have un. Okay. And last but not least, itty. Itty. As in brevity. Itty. Okay, so. That kind of went off the page there, so let's do it here. All right, and let's, ah, too small, bring that over here. All right, so now we're kind of running out of space, so I think I may need to slide these cards over. Okay, ah, slide over. Now keep in mind, I am still working in the template. Okay, so see, I'm on the template card. It's outlined in red, so that lets you see that I'm in the template card. Sometimes it's a little frustrating. I'm working on a just a regular pad, and I'm not using a mouse, it's per se, and sometimes, uh, it wants to do what it wants to do, which I don't want to resize. I want to move it. Thank you. And let's bring that here. 
I can bring this up here and then bring my itty. Okay. Okay, now if you remember earlier, if we select all of them, first click one image, hold down your shift key, and select all of our word parts. We want all of these to be draggable. And there you have it. We don't need to do that down here because it's already done when we cloned it. All right, so now my first word card will look like this. Now it looks like the text is sort of in the way, so let's move the text down, okay? And when I go to problem number one, now I'm changing it, because remember we cloned it from number three, so we're gonna change it now, okay? Because we're in lesson four, so we need to shorten, okay? And we can move that there. And have that there so to shorten now if we want we can come back up here and maybe move these down to give more space to our sentences okay oh. I did not want to resize it I just wanted to move it down because see sometimes uh, it'll think you want to resize okay but whatever you want to do to the overall board you should do in the template card. So we just did problem number one and I can move my sentence now, now that we have created more space. Okay, problem number two. I can move my sentence and let's go ahead and type the question. A method of doing or producing something. A method of doing or producing something okay and there you have it so I'm going to stop here and this is what the expectation is when creating boom cards that are a drag-and-drop okay thanks for watching